Hi everyone, I am Astha and today I am going to talk to you about the Tesla data scientist interview process. At the end of this video, you should have a good understanding of the process itself, what the interviewers are looking at and a bunch of tips for each round. For context, the Tesla DS interview process can be very different for different openings and our goal is to get you ready for the most common situations that you might face. Now as a quick intro, I am from Prepfully. This overview has been put together by Tesla data scientists who are also interview coaches on Prepfully, the very same ones who have helped hundreds of candidates with mock interviews and advice. And this is a video version of our much more in-depth written guide, which we will link within the description. And you can always book time with the coaches directly for more personalized guidance on Prepfully's website. Okay then, moving on to the overview. When you're interviewing for a Tesla DS role, you'll go through three primary rounds. The first, a screening or a recruiter round. The second is the hiring manager round and the final round will usually be an on-site or a virtual on-site interview with a senior data scientist. Now let us talk about step one first, the screening or the recruiter round which starts with a chat with a recruiter. Here they will ask you about your work, your experience, salary expectations and when you are free for an in-person interview. Then you'll have a technical phone interview with a hiring manager or a senior data scientist. They'll ask you about stats, about machine learning, programming and data analysis and might even give you a problem to solve. Now the idea here is to see if you're a good fit for this role and the company cu culture. So make sure that you are ready and confident during the interview to show off your skills and your enthusiasm. Three tips for getting through this round. Prepare by reviewing your past work history, selecting specific examples from each past role which demonstrate your strengths, accomplishments and areas for your own growth. Be ready to talk about your genuine interest in Tesla and why you are a strong fit for the company. Be direct and concise in your answers since this is a short interview. Be prepared for the common opening question of tell me a little about yourself and have a brief introduction ready to go. This is nearly always the starting question. Next then is step two. The on-site interview is the final step in the Tesla data scientist interview process. It could either be face to face or it could be virtual and includes multiple rounds with various Tesla peeps. You'll face technical and behavioral questions a coding challenge or a data analysis project. Don't forget to ask questions and show it how stoked you are about the job and about Tesla. To get ready, study the job description well, wipe out the Tesla's culture and brush up on your technical and behavioral interview skills. By showcasing your skills and fitting in with the company's values, you will increase your chances of acing the interview. We have three tips for these rounds. First, familiarity with ML and deep learning libraries like Skikit Learn, PyTorch, TensorFlow and NumPy is often required for some roles. Two, make sure you're on top of all major statistical methods and modeling techniques such as SVM, random forest, decision tree, etc. Depending on the role, you could also be expected to know about things like graph models, NLP, image processing, neural networks and so on. This can be very advantageous to you. Brush up on advanced SQL including window functions, aggregations and nested joins to get a better idea of what is really expected. The final stage of the interview process, one of the most exciting parts of the interview process is the case study round where you get to tackle real world problems related to Tesla's business operations. Now, you will have the opportunity to showcase your skills and knowledge in data analysis, in machine learning and statistical modeling. During this round, the interviewers will be evaluating your ability to work collaboratively, 
think creatively and explain your thought process and solutions clearly. To prepare, you should practice solving real world business problems, improve your problem solving and critical thinking skills and research Tesla's business operations and culture to align with the company's values. Now remember, the case study round is your chance to shine and increase your chances of landing this job. So. Be confident, communicate your ideas clearly, and most importantly, have fun with the challenge. Now, the following tips will surely help you ace it. First, make sure that you understand the problem that you're trying to solve. Then, clarify the scope of the problem and use a structured approach to solve it. Keep the end goal in mind and make sure that your solution aligns with the company's values. Communication is key, so you make sure that you can explain your thought processes and your findings effectively. Do not forget to collaborate with your team members and get a good feedback. Finally, practice solving case studies and research Tesla's business operations and its culture. That is all from us. If you want to assess your preparation or practice, you can schedule a confidential mock interview with a Tesla data scientist on Prepfully using the link in the description given below. You will also find helpful links to resources including a written guide and interview questions in the description as well. If you have additional questions about our interviews, leave a comment below. And if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks and good luck. Thanks for watching the video. If you liked it, please subscribe. Our website is prepfully.com. We've got lots of interview questions there. You can also schedule a mock interview with one of our experts. You can find the link in the description below. All the best from us at Prepfully. And we hope you totally rock your interview.